Hi. In this demo, we'll explore how to prioritize, investigate, and respond to high-severity OT cybersecurity detections using the Dragos platform. With the rise of threats targeting OT environments, like ransomware, and the vital requirement to keep operations running smoothly and safely, understanding which alerts to prioritize and how to manage the investigation is crucial. Let's show you how we enable organizations to triage a high-severity alert using the Dragos platform. We will also cover the resources available on the platform for investigating and gathering evidence. Let's pull up the detection screen and choose a high-severity alert from this dashboard. We use four types of threat detection to detect and respond to potential adversarial activity, reduce unnecessary alerts, and enhance accuracy, enabling effective responses. I set the minimum severity to four. I see one level four alert, which is a Havex domain malware indicator alert. Let's delve into the details of the alert, reviewing the alert summary. When reviewing the detection information, the user can review quickly what happened. We can see that the asset is communicating with the Havix related domain over port 8530, the HTTP protocol. The first step in the triage process is to investigate the assets involved. Navigate to the Assets tab. Search for the asset using its IP address or asset ID. Here the user can gather information about the assets, what zones they are in, the sensor that detected the traffic, and understand the type of assets involved, whether that is a web client, web server, DNS server, domain controller, etc. Once we have gathered sufficient information about the assets, the next step is to analyze the communication details. Drago's platform provides predefined queries called Query Focus Data Sets, QFDs, which can be used to explore the raw traffic data. Here you can see the HTTPS session relevant to this alert, and we will add this into our investigation. At this point, we have gathered sufficient information about the asset details and the communication that triggered the alert. The next step is to determine whether this communication is legitimate. Often, validating these alerts requires coordination with other teams, such as your SOC and sometimes operational staff, to confirm their accuracy. To facilitate this collaboration, Dragos offers a case management feature that allows users to create cases and assign them to individuals for further investigation. Once you create a case, users provide a name and priority. Set visibility to public or private. Add a short description of the hypothesis and click Submit. Once the case is created, relevant notifications are automatically added. You can also upload evidence, such as QFD snippets or asset inventory data, to support the investigation. In this example, I'm uploading the QFD snippet we discussed previously as evidence here to keep all the information in one place to enable the investigation, support cross-team collaboration, and speed up response if deemed necessary. Another powerful feature of Drago's alerts is the use of playbooks, which provides step-by-step -step procedures to assist users in triaging and responding to alerts. These playbooks streamline investigations and enhance response efforts by allowing users to follow predefined processes provided by Dragos or create custom ones tailored to their specific needs. If an activity is confirmed to be authorized and expected, the case can be resolved with appropriate notes, and a rule can be created to filter out similar alerts in the future.